Minecraft is still a very popular game, and the server can be run on pretty much any computer. So, we're gonna show you how. The process of setting up a Minecraft server is very simple, but there is one prerequisite. You need to have Java installed on the computer that will be running the server. When you've made sure that Java is installed, all you have to do is run the Minecraft server.exe file. We'll put this as a download link in the video description. The first time you run the application, a few files will be created. Basically, what you need to do is open up the text file and say that you accept the license terms by replacing the false with true. We're going to save the file and we're going to start the server again. This time the server will actually start up and a couple of more files will be created. Since we want to make some modifications and have a look at the server settings, I'm going to go ahead and close the server for now. To have a look at the server properties, just open up the server properties using a notepad. By default, this isn't associated, so you, as usual, go into open with and select notepad. You can see there are a bunch of settings and they might not all be self-explanatory. So I've included a link in the download description, in the video description, I should say. Uh, containing a link to this wiki page that explains it all. So, I'm just going to go through and change a couple of things. As you can see, the server port is by default 25565. Now, this will of course need to be opened in your Windows firewall as well as your router firewall if you want to play with external parties. I will show you how to open up the Windows ports using PowerShell in just a bit. I'm not going to be using hardcore mode. We want to set the difficulty, I'm going to set that to hard. Game mode 0 uh, means survival, which is what I want to use. So I'm going to leave it at that. Max players 20 will be more than enough, I think. And the message of the day, I will just set that to Technot Minecraft Server. And when I'm happy with the config, I just save it. So, now to open the firewall ports. This is only for the Windows Firewall. The router firewall you need to take care of yourself because every router is different and I can't really tell you how. What I can tell you is the port number, which is 25565, and that the protocol is TCP. So to open up the port, fire up PowerShell as an administrator and run this command line, available in the video description. So hit enter and wait for it to execute. As you can see, that went through really quite fast. So, we're just going to close this, close the server config, we can close Chrome as well, and we're going to start up the server. The server is up and running, so now I'm going to try to join it from my client computer running Minecraft. So we've started up Minecraft, we're going to head into multiplayer. For some reason, I've never seen this feature where it automatically finds the server working. If you know what I did wrong, please let me know. However, what I do is I go into Add Server and type in the IP address of the server. In my case, this is an internal IP. If your friends are joining from another network, they will need to enter your external IP. So, we're going to hit Done. You can see that the server appears. And if we press Play... No. We get into the server. And as you can see, the world is still generating, but... Things look fun, and there's the cow looking at me. Mm. And there is Minecraft server set up for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or other comments, feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe.